Hi, it's Sarah Taylor. Welcome to my channel. And I'm going to show you some colors for my puddle painting. That's white and that's gold, which is uh, TLP ore and harvest gold mixed together. That's uh, some red iron oxide mixed with some um, Matisse Australian red violet. Autumn leaf by Color Art. Um, that's a copper. And then that is uh, yellow gold by Charvin. And then that's a blue mixture. Um, it's a bunch of different blues mixed together. This is some leftover base coat <laughs> and yellow. And I mixed that with a bunch of different colors. It's still a little too dark. And then that's Prussian blue, Payne's gray. And these are all my base coat colors. Um, and then that is Royal Blue Light by Charvin. Really pretty. And then that's this kind of dark green. You know how it goes. Sometimes these things evolve and I can't tell you exactly what's in it. But um, just to hope you get a really good sense for the color profile here. And I'm working on an a large painting it's going to be 48 by 60 inches and so I'm doing some just kind of playful testing here with the colors to make sure that the colors play well together um, just starting with some puddles of base coat here and you know these kind of blues and yellows and blue green and white um, and then I'm going to go in with oh that's some DAC magic which is basically like a, ba a base coat it's got deco art white satin enamel in it and now I'm going to go in with my puddle paints on top. And, you know, mostly what I'm trying to find out with this little painting is how the colors play. And it's something to show the client, too. If you're working on a commission, sometimes doing a couple smaller paintings in advance is a really good practice just so they can see if something's sticking out that they don't like. Uh, it's a really good opportunity to kind of work some kinks out in your head, if, especially if you're going onto a really big canvas. And ultimately here, that that red, I really didn't love it with this palette. Um, I'm going to change the yellow. I've already started to work and change some things about the palette after doing these two test paintings, which I'm going to show you. And, you know, sometimes these outcomes are not exactly what we want, but that's the curiosity and that's the, ex the exploration um, with Fluid art is to just experiment and see what happens and see where it, where it leads you. Because uh, for me, if I don't get these ideas like onto a canvas, I'm not sure which direction I want to go. And so this practice is so helpful in just determining, you know, where you want to take the colors, where you want to take. Uh, and it looks so different from this other angle. So um yeah, my two cameras are just a little different the way they film so that, you know, you can kind of see the colors in a different way from this other angle. I'm going to put music on and just show you uh, these two test paintings. I hope you enjoy them and stay tuned for another big canvas. Um, I just got my piggy samples of the new TLP pigments, so I'm excited to play with those and probably actually incorporate some of those into this color palette. So all right, much love. Um, check all the links below. There's a lot of ways you can support me. And uh, thank you for being here with me today. All right, much love. Talk to you soon.